Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got brand new horse soldier Woo! whiskey, bourbon. I gifted this to you. You did for my 50th birthday. 50. He's 50. We're going to test it. Test it! 12 strong style. American freedom style. <laughs> All right, I'm Scott. Born here. New, new word to market. At least it did just show up in our area, and I'm pretty sure it's brand new uh, anyway. But American Freedom Distillery was started by a Green Beret. Green Beret that was part of, or the leader of, we're not sure, the uh, Twelve Horsemen, famously known from the book and the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, Twelve Strong. Twelve Strong. Right. There you go. So uh, he started, uh, he or maybe some of his uh, Green Beret buddies started American Freedom Distillery, which is in Columbus, Ohio. Mm. Good thing I saw that. I was like, where mm, are they? That's it. spotted it. So we have, uh, there was three bottles that showed up here, though. You picked up the straight bourbon whiskey. Right. And that's on our left here. Yep. And that's the lowest proof one at 43.5. And then the uh, barrel strength bourbon whiskey at 56.22. The highest percent. proof one. So, Which is on our right, right yep. here. And I, I went in, I just went in, I was actually going to grab you, so it was your 50th. Mm -hmm. Some of your friends were calling me saying, what should, what would mm -hmm. I get him? I don't know what to get him, he's got so much. I go, he's got so much. I don't think you can find something he doesn't have. That's what I'm telling your buddies. But I told them some things that I knew you liked and you wouldn't mind doubles of. Hmm. So, and then I went, and I was going to get you a double that I knew you would like. The rep is in, and they're like, hey, seen the show. Do you want to try some of this? Yeah. Now, the story, he tells me, so he lets me know that the metal on here, I'll throw this before we try it. He says this is like reclaimed metal from the Twin Towers, and that that's put on here. And I was like, and then he told me the story about the Green Beret, and I was like, I love the story. Forget what I was going to get you. I know you don't have these. Mm -hmm. And I picked it up. Good. Sorry. Just had to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so on the left is the straight bourbon, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. This is the lower proof, uh, the straight being the designation, so it's at least two years old. It wasn't a real strong nose, but I got cherries yep. come out at me. <sighs> Cinnamon. I got like a little, and, little brown sugar syrup. Yeah. Oak. Syrupy. Yeah. The cherries are the interesting thing, though, because I agree with you 100% on that. Yeah. A little cherry note to it. That's the first thing is that fruity, cherry, fruity note. Coming cherry out. cola. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sneeze coming, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Woo. Blush. Tingled the nose. Mm. Tingled. Tickled the nose hairs. Did tingled. you go in? Tingled. Yeah, I went in. Mm. So I get a lot of flavor there. I get the barrel char coming through. Oak stronger in this one than I would say the, the normal standard bourbons. I get a little more oak influence. The cinnamon... Hmm. And like a little trail of smoke, which is, I think, part of the char. Which, let's say you saw. I went back in for my second sip. Just let the first one get in there and saturate everything. Really nice mouthfeel. Yeah, it feels like it's right in 43, 45%. A little bit stronger, but nice caramels, nice sweetness. Mm -hmm. uh, rich oakiness. We get in trouble for saying oakiness. Rich oaky. Who? Amy, so like oakiness. Don't you remember when we started saying oakiness? I'm doubling down, Amy. <laughs> I get a lot of oaky oakiness from this oaky whiskey. I don't know about trouble. Uh, like cinnamon caramels. Yep. I think we created oakiness, the term. Great creation. So, which I don't one, think we, we did because there's oakiness. an oaky from the skokie. Come on. What's that got to do with oakiness? The word's been around. I had uh, an aunt and uncle that lived in Muskogee, too. Is it Muskogee? Uh-huh. Oh, I said Muskogee. Muskogee. Oh, oh. Muskogee. Muskogee, Oklahoma. Got it. Oklahoma. Oki from Oklahoma. Muskogee? Oklahoma. <laughs> That's the rabbit trails we tend to go down. Hopefully I didn't say corn too much to you. Really, like I say, just back to it. 
nice bourbon notes, cinnamons, caramels, oak, vanillas, creams. Mm -hmm. Vanilla cream. And it is, it's labeled a straight bourbon whiskey, so we know this one is at least two years old. Mm -hmm. We know it's 51% corn, and it's aged in new oak barrels. Bingo. New charred oak barrels. Thank you. Meaning it's a little oaky. <laughs> so we're going into the stronger Ooh. barrel proof, which again just says straight bourbon whiskey. No, not straight bourbon whiskey. Sorry. Bourbon strength. Barrel strength. Barrel strength. Barrel strength. Whiskey. <laughs> Way to get that clear as my phone rings. I'll let that go. Woo. A little bit more um, grassiness or straw on the nose. It's got a stronger ABV. Shows on the nose. Came right out of the glass at me. <laughs> You're right, though. It's like a dusty, well, earthy grass. I think that's a little bit, if this is not a straight bourbon it whiskey, is not. then I think that's a little bit of the youth that's showing okay. in there. Because you're right, it's bourbon strength, barrel strength, <laughs> bourbon whiskey. God dang, why is that one getting me? <laughs> barrel strength, bourbon whiskey. Woo! Mm. Some of the corn. <laughs> I love the fact Ooh. that you can just look at me and I'm like, I know I said it wrong. <laughs> I totally said it wrong. It's bourbon strength. It's bourbon strength whiskey barrel. <laughs> what? A lot more ABV <laughs> on the nose. There is a little bit of the you showing a little bit of the white dog. Not much. It comes off as a grassiness. I almost detect the more of the just corn as well. Hmm. But nice cinnamons along with it. It's, I mean, it really, it's saturated and just took over the mouth as I took the first sip. Hmm. I think this one's going to open up a little bit more as it sits mm -hmm. in the, the bottle as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get a better mouth coating here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot more cinnamons coming through. And I would say you're right on. That grassiness is a bit of the new make. You want some drop of water? Mm -hmm. You ready? Throw that in there. Mm. Good. Good. Ooh. Oh, uh, I got 328 mm. and 330. 327, 329. These are our challenge coins, by the way. They're available at scotchtestdummies.com. Uh, Bart and I both had a military background and law enforcement background, and we started getting these challenge coins. Yep. They served a dual purpose. They worked as a challenge coin and a glass topper to help concentrate the nose. Yep. We get questions all the time. What does the coin do, or why do you keep the coin on the glass? Right. It help really. It helps Traps. kind of concentrate trap trap the aroma to help with the nose, and it really does do a good job. It was unintended when we got the coins. We kind of realized, hey, look, right. what you can do with these. But so in the military, you'll get these. They'll be presented to you sometimes for whatever. You go to the website and you order a coin. You may get one that's used in the show, and it could be you might get three twenty eight that was sure. used in this review. Yeah. And I note it. I'll put it on your receipt. And then you're supposed to carry them around in your pocket. <laughs> it is a nice conversation piece, though. We've had people at the bar. They'll, if they're serving a Glen Karen, a lot of places don't have Glen Karens. But yeah. They'll put it down on that Glen Karen, and then someone's what? sitting two downs like, what's that? Boom. Got Ge a conversation piece. Generally, your serious whiskey bars mm -hmm. or whiskey bars are going to have some sort of a whiskey... Right glass instead of just a rocks glass right we joked about having a, a texas size coin that would yeah. fit over a rocks glass look like a hockey puck you'd be like bam <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. drop of water still more brought the abv down all the same flavor notes are there uh I get a lot more the, cereal grain here, too. Yeah, the grain is just showing a little bit more still mm -hmm. with it. I do like it with the drop of water over neat. I, I would agree. Yeah. Let me go back and try the first one. Now, when I was in the store talking to the rep, um, the little samples I got there, I wasn't able to add water or anything. I actually like the lower proof straight bourbon. A little better. I was getting a little more flavor off of it. 
I think it's more presentable. Hmm. The 43.5% being the straight bourbon whiskey. Um, Hazard, and I guess it's older yeah. than, the, than the barrel strength. The same stands here. 89 on the straight bourbon. And I'm going to say 87 on the barrel strength. I'm going 88 on both. Okay. You split me so, right in the middle. Well, right there with you. But uh, both good, great entry bottles, great first editions coming from Horse Soldier. Uh, definitely looking forward to uh, great the future, mm -hmm. what's coming out with them. Yep. It's hard to tell which one I would. I, I do agree. I think the uh, the straight bourbon whiskey is a flavor wise. It's a little bit smoother. It's a little bit more uh, melded. Mm -hmm. The barrel strength though, with that ABV and just still a little bit more punch. Better mouth feel. Um, but yeah, um, give that a few more years and yeah. So, but I like them. I like the story. Um, now price wise though, you bought these, I know, I know these are a little, these are, so these are the first offerings from horse soldier, right? American freedom distillery. Okay. They are, they are there. I mean, they're, so it's a craft distillery. They're getting started. They're, they're a little bit higher. Yeah. You'll have to determine if you want to buy them or not. Right. Well, I like the story with it. I like mm -hmm. that we hadn't had it cause I literally went in going, there's nothing I can give you to surprise you. So when I, when it was like kismet that well, the reps say that. Mm, yeah but what are the odds i come up with a compass box you don't have no, zero none right yeah and for your 50th i was thinking how am i gonna yeah you know i'm not so i was gonna double down on something that i knew you liked <laughs> then this was in there i thought i love the story behind that we both got the police military background i thought this is cool um uh, i thought they were interesting and picked them both up. Um, I don't remember the exact. It was like forty-seven ninety-nine, but basically fifty and eighty. Mm -hmm. So I think it was seventy-nine something and forty-nine something, if I remember right. And then the okay. other one in the middle was like ten dollars less. I think. Yeah, if this one's forty-five to fifty, you're coming in really at that same price range as most startup distilleries. Mm -hmm. Most craft distilleries are getting their initial offerings out there at. So yeah, I think I think if you want to give it a try, uh, like you say, for the story, um, back a good company. Uh, do it well. I mean, so 9 11, the buildings are hit, and I don't know about most people, but I wished I was still in. Mm. I mean, I would have gone, boom, send me. Where do you need me to go? These guys, the Green Berets, ready to go, they're on a plane, they're headed over. Huh. I mean, I, I, I mean, imagine back when I know we were in our 20s when we were in the military. Well, yeah, time to go, right? I mean, it would have been great. So uh, that part of that alone, I'm glad he's out doing something. So he's had a, I'm, I don't know his career or anything about him, but um, I, I was told the rep said he's also making his rounds. Um, he was even coming through Wichita, but I couldn't get there. So if you get a chance, you might even get a chance to meet the gentleman. Sorry, you got a Scotch God shout out. Moving into our Scotch God shout out. Thrasher, T-H-R-A-S-Z-E-R, Thrasher, Thrasher, he comments on our Barrel Proof Bourbon Shootout Championship. Nice. Which, he's, he's referencing the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, but he says, never had it yet, so I'm heading out to get one. Yeah, get it. But I gotta say, I was on the edge of my seat rooting for the Jack Daniels hmm. Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Great content, guys, and I say this to... And I say this to all the other whiskey tubers, but all of you are great ambassadors for the whiskey industry. I wouldn't have even started buying bourbon if it wasn't for all of you. There you go. Yep. Yeah, we brought some people into the bourbon world, and we bought, brought bourbon drinkers into the scotch world. Yeah. And uh, the, Ireland is there as well. There's a whole world of whiskey. We've had good whiskey. whiskey from Japan, yeah. Australia, Why would you like Thailand, segregate? India, Thailand? Maybe not Thailand. It's probably something from Thailand. <laughs> it's got a scorpion in it or something. <laughs> little snake. Little but snake hair. There's good whiskey out there from all over the place. <laughs> don't be afraid. To, Taiwan, Taiwan, when we first started, yeah, yeah. When we first started, we were the, and, and we are the scotch test dummies. We yep. were just going to do scotch. We mm -hmm. thought we were drinking scotch at the time. And then we got going. We're like, you know, we're in the States and there's all these good bourbons Ooh. around us. Let's move over and start tasting them good. as well. 
That's warming up to me. Yeah. I think that might get better and better as the bottle goes down. Could be. But yeah, so we branched out from just scotch into these others, and we found out there's a whole, like I say, a whole world Huge of whiskey world. out there. My goodness, and, look at the uh, Japanese whiskey. Hello. Um, Tasmanian. So thanks, Thrasher. Yeah. Great comment. Way to go, Thrash. A couple of Patreon shout outs to do. Do it. Been a minute. We've got a bunch of folks coming into Patreon. Yep. We can barely keep up. Three dollars a quarter here. Troy Spencer, come on oh, down. Troy, you can send in a photo. You got to cover the pickle. You know what, Spencer? It makes me remember the old show with Robert Urich, Spencer for Hire. You remember that? How do I even pull that name out? Remember when he was in Vegas in the yeah. '70s and he used to pull that cool? That. Yeah. Oh God, I love that. Hmm. Sorry. And a two dollar Patreon supporter. Ready? Hold on. I got to look. Glenn Anderson. Anderson. Woo, with an E on the sin instead of the sun. He's a sin. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. Appreciate Thank you, it. Glenn. Thank you. And uh, I'll wrap it up for this one. Poor soldier. <laughs> Thought Check you were going to throw in another one. And uh, well, that'll wrap it up. Next one. Yeah, next that'll wrap show. it up. So if you want to support us, because really mentioning it lets you guys know, if you like what we're doing and you want to help us continue doing it, Go check out Patreon. Look up scotchtestdummies.com. You can go as low as a dollar, as high as a hundred. <laughs> no need to do that. All right. Sip it again. See I just got a yeah. hint. I just got a hint of a rye for the very first time on the mm. barrel, barrel strength one. Um, mm. very, very faint, very faint, but no. Scotch it. Hold on. Scotch it. You scotch guns. Scotch it. Dummies. Dummies. Do not talk with your mouth full of whiskey. I've seen the comments. My bad. <laughs>